vision boards can be awesome. They can be a great way of inspiring us and helping us feel excited and get into a positive vibration. And they can be problematic because while we might be thinking, I'm excited about this, there also may be a part of us that's sitting there looking at that saying, well, I don't have that yet. And so what we're really in is a vibration of not having. And so we keep creating not having. So let's shift that and uh, have the background so that uh, you, know, you can use that because a lot of people put beautiful beaches on their vision boards. So. Taking full responsibility for your own well being. I choose to feel awesome about these visions. And I choose to love and accept myself. I choose to feel awesome about these images. And I choose to love and honor myself. I choose to feel awesome about these images. As I put up pictures or just envision them in my head, things that I want to have in my life, I choose for that to be a purely positive experience. I choose to feel awesome about these images. And I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And maybe anyone else who might be involved. I choose to feel awesome about these images. I choose to really enjoy these visions. And so I'm giving myself permission to clear any feelings of lack. It's understandable that part of me says, well, there's a picture of something I don't have. And that's not a very positive feeling. And the whole point of a vision board is to have positive feelings. And I have all this old programming that says, you need to feel bad about what you don't have. Maybe because I believe that'll motivate me. Maybe part of me says that's what the vision board is there for. When I finally feel enough pain about not having these things yet, then I'll finally put in the necessary effort. That's just not powerful manifestation mojo. I choose to feel really good about these images. I can even allow myself to know that since everything is energy, I'm already connected to these things. In a sense, they're already mine. Clearing all this belief that I can't feel really good about them yet. I can enjoy the beauty of an ocean, even if it's just an image. Part of me might say, I can't. So how close do I have to be? Can I already feel awesome about it when I'm on the beach? How many feet from the water do I have to be? Do I have to actually be in the water before I can feel good about it? Or can I enjoy it from a mile away? 
or even if it's just a picture. The more I give myself permission to feel good, the more powerful my manifesting energy. Having a vision board is like window shopping. Allowing myself to be excited about what's available. I don't have to feel lack when I'm window shopping. because I'm connected to everything. So at some level, it's already mine. So I could look at something in a window and say, I'm so grateful that I have that to enjoy. And I really appreciate the store storing it for me. <laughs> I'm not sure I have room in my house for it. And I'm allowing other people to enjoy it. I'm sharing this beautiful thing that I have with other people. Why not allow myself to feel that way? I don't have to purchase it to enjoy it. And the more I allow myself to feel good about it, the more opportunities I have to purchase things. And there may, there may be some things I say I wanna purchase, that I may not really wanna have at my home. But I have this old programming telling me that I can't fully enjoy it until I've actually purchased it. I can allow myself to enjoy seeing something. Even if I don't actually own it. This allows me to enjoy so many more things. <laughs> I'm giving myself permission to appreciate so many more things. Whether I see them out in the world or on my vision board or in my mind. And when I think this way, the whole world becomes my vision board. And I have so many opportunities for feeling good. Clearing any old need to feel lack. And when I look at these things, I can ask myself, why am I not experiencing it physically yet? The extent to which I don't have what I want tends to be the extent to which I'm resisting it. So maybe part of me is saying, here are the things that I'm excited about having but I don't feel ready for them yet. I choose to feel more ready. So I can use my vision board as a personal growth tool. I can look at these things that I want, allow myself to be aware of any possible resistance. And I can tap and clear that stuff. 
looking at beautiful things and getting ready for them. Saying, here's what I'm getting ready for. And I'm clearing any resistance. Clearing that resistance from every fiber of my being. Drawing these things to me. And already allowing myself to enjoy them. Allowing myself to fully appreciate all these beautiful things. Feeling really good about that in body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. And allow yourself to look around and feel connected to all these things, already feeling a sense of possession to the extent that that feels appropriate. <laughs> you might have some baggage around that word, but just allowing yourself to already own the feeling, to already have that good feeling about being able to see that and appreciate it, even if you don't uh, hold the title to it. <laughs> it's already there for you to appreciate and putting up that vision board and allowing yourself to appreciate it and allowing yourself to be aware of anything that doesn't feel absolutely positive and just clearing that stuff out. Allow yourself to have more positive vibration and that has all kinds of benefits for you and countless others. So thanks for doing that.